Argyle. Um, today we're in the lovely village of Salia and um, we've got Kev from Nest Homes. So it's got um, a few bars. I think it's Janella, which is the most popular one. We're going to head up there later anyway and we'll show you. It's just by the church. Um, it's got shops, it's got um, a garage, it's got quite a few things. But the nice thing about Celia is the countryside. So this is the storeroom downstairs. Now, the walls seem to be in good condition. It's got breathing points in. All the electrical terminals are in place. Uh, I'm not sure it's all built into the wall itself. All the plumbing looks very new and all fixed in. All this is all new here, right top surface. Uh, tiling is excellent on the floor. They've done an excellent job on tiling. Um, can't see any signs of damp or anything within the property itself. There's no signs of movement in the internal. So this is the and there's, commercial there's no area. smell of damp. No, which is a good thing, which is it just unusual for Portugal. Like new, doesn't it? Yeah. It actually smells like it's just been built. Okay, then just so just doing this. The connection to the salesman, Nest Homes. Hi, Kev. Hi. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> okay, we're going to go into the uh, residential section of the property. Very nice, very clean, lovely tiled floors. It's so refreshing to actually come into a property that doesn't actually need anything doing. So let's go and have a look upstairs. Now this is a wow, isn't it? I didn't expect this. Um, you've got fitted wardrobes and a nice balcony area, look hey. Got a little friend there. <laughs> Very nice um, balcony area. They've got a um, nice little lean on the floor here with drainage, which is very well made because it's all tilted towards the drainage point, which is just here. So all the water goes out and it goes straight into the street. Very well planned out that. <laughs> Uh, fitted wardrobes. Nice, nicely done. It's got air pump. Yep, it's got, um, just notice at the top, air conditioning. We can edit, can you? Yeah. Beautiful bathroom done. Absolutely stunningly done. Little pan there. Again, nothing needs to be done in the bathroom. It's made use of maximum amount of space. Put back a bit there. Absolutely it's beautiful. And it's got a small kitchenette area. Nicely designed. All fitted kitchens. And they've got a little door here, which is just noticed, what falls onto the balcony. So you've got two doors onto the balcony. And what a fantastic view, eh? I mean, wow. Yes, this is a beautiful view here of the mountain at the top. This is pure tradition on this. Now, I've noticed something. They've got external power, they've got two separate power points. One downstairs, and you've got a consumer box upstairs as well, which is a very useful thing. So if something trips downstairs, it won't trip upstairs. So with this being a duplex apartment, there's even more above. Let's go and have a little look. We've got um, two separate beds now. The thing is with that, you could actually push them together and make a super king size. And another balcony on the next level up. Yeah. Even a better view of the Algarve eyes. Now this this is an extremely nice view from the top of here. Again, the external of the property has been done so well. 
And they've even given you a little point here, satellite. I'm just going to walk in from this door here, which is opened up, which is another bedroom. So you've actually got three bedrooms here. It would make an excellent holiday home, lock up and leave. The view from the bedroom. Okay, this is the second bathroom in the property. Much more bigger. This one you've actually got a bath upstairs. Very, very well made. Hi Kev, so what did you just say to us? Yeah, I'm thinking on this it would be an excellent lock up and go or a really, really good investment. Uh, because you've got the commercial, which can be rented separately, and then you've got the three bedrooms, this whole duplex, which could be rented. So I believe we could achieve 850 euro per month for a boat. Excellent. Just missed the corner, it's a little cupboard here, which you put all your storing area, as you can tell. Excellent. It's all ready for business. Yeah, it's ready to, 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 to rent immediately this property. Just in relation to the rentals then, every bedroom has its own lock, every bedroom has its own wardrobe with its own personal safe. So it's basically two flats? It, it can be two flats, yeah. The yeah. only thing that would miss upstairs would be if you wanted to put a kitchen in. Yes. But it can be totally separated this yeah. to achieve more of a rental. I've also thought in relation to the commercial, it's easy to change from commercial to habitation. So maybe downstairs, over time, you could transform that to a, a studio apartment to achieve more rental. Again, it's separated, isn't it? So it's three businesses or three properties all yeah. in one. Yeah. So, so Kev, is the upstairs got habitational? So this is all habitation. And okay. downstairs? Commercial. Downstairs is commercial. Yeah. But it's easier to change from commercial to uh, habitation than from habitation to commercial. Yeah. So over time, it's ready to change that to a studio apartment, which then I think you could achieve 400 per month. Yeah. In the summer, you, you can probably get 400 a week. Yeah. Excellent. It's a great, it is a great uh, for investment. It's got a massive amount of potential yeah. for possible earnings. And this is the other side. So, if I was critical about the property, you can't. It's got, I saw just two cracked tiles on the floor and that, that was it. It's spotless. It's absolutely faultless, really. Um, excellent rental potential, as Kev said. And uh, if this is what you want, a lock up and leave holiday home um, with a business underneath that you could actually rent out while you're back in the UK or USA, um, you're onto a winner. This is a lovely tapas bar. At the moment, it's actually locked up for some reason. But it's, it's one where a lot of expats do come to. What a fabulous view. I'll just show you where Nest Homes is. It's just as you're coming into Salia and we're here. And this is the owner, Kevin. Hi. And on Monday, Kev, where where are we going and what we're going to see? Okay, we're going out to Malyao. It's beside the the, the Buddhist temple. Uh, we have a property on 15 hectares with a house and a ruin 
the asking price, not for sure yet, but I think it's about 320,000. So, how much land has it got again? It's 15 hectares. That's a lot of land for yeah. the price of money. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope on the same day, uh, an owner has contacted me. He's got a small T2 old room that he's renovated. And we hope to see that on the same day because it's, it's close to the one in Malyau. So a T2 means two bedrooms? Yes, yeah. A two bedroom house with fantastic views. So looking forward to showing that on uh, Monday. Yeah, brilliant. So we'll see you then. Yeah.